Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This disgusting maggot of a man here is Howard Woodcroft, XPC1698, formerly of West Mercia Constabulary. He's a child abuser. When I was a boy, he would do things like sit me down on spiky plants to hurt me. He would grab my knuckles and crack them under protest despite the fact I was crying. And he just wouldn't let me go. He just wanted to abuse me and he thought it was fun because he's a vile, spineless coward of a man. One incident to this day sticks out where I was beaten senseless around my room and over my red toy box. I was covered in bruises from head to toe. And during his tirade of abuse, like when I was over my red toy box, he smacked the back of my head so hard that my head slammed into a wall. Neither him nor my ex-mother Sheila O'Neill or Sarah Johns or whatever she calls herself these days got me any medical intervention. This and coupled with a lot more abuse that I was subjected to has obviously had a major retrogressive effect upon my development and still affects me to this day. I have flashbacks and so on with regards to his abuse and that of my former mother, my ex-mother and the abuse that I was also subjected to via my ex-stepfather and her. This disgusting man knew that his children were being subjected to daily and nightly abuse. But he weaponized his own children to get back at his ex-mother, uh, ex-wife for leaving him. And because he knew that his son was being abused, he wanted me to suffer even more. You see, this disgusting, pestiferous, vile, maggot, coward of a man was abused by his own father. And this disgusting man, Howard Woodcroft of Oast House Close Bromsgrove, could not man up and face his own demons and do what's right to change. No, instead he became a vile bully, a coward, a disgusting, vile, rancid crook. It is of course no surprise that this disgusting man became a Nazi stormtrooper. He shares the same man mentality as every other poor excuse for a human being that joins the police. They're bullies, they're vile, narcissistic Nazis who have no interest other than to abuse people and destroy their lives. Public enemy number one claim that what he did was common assault. This is bullshit. And of course, the Office of the Police and Crime Commission have also been complicit in censoring the crime and abuse committed by this disgusting, vile man. All my claims have been proven and they are substantiated with evidence. And what I am doing is to expose what's been happening to me so that I can have some form of peace and justice before I take my own life. Because I no longer wish to continue living after the way I have been abused and continue to be abused to this day by various public services and individuals. I've seen a post that this disgusting man uh, put on his Facebook profile. I no longer have social media due to... Ext due to it's toxicity. And this man tries to claim that people have disrespected him in the recent past. This was just after I'd reported him for child abuse. And yet all these people are sucking up to him and supporting him and blah, blah, blah. But I would wonder what they would actually think if they knew the real truth about this disgusting man, this coward of a man, this bully, this child abuser. Given the fact that the majority of them are of the same ilk as this disgusting human being, it wouldn't surprise me that they would still continue to support him and claim that the abuse against me as an innocent child was perfectly acceptable. 
Throughout life, this disgusting man has continued to abuse me and bully me. Um, he's also tried to claim that all I was after was his money. This, of course, is not true. This is just another excuse to project his own abuse on me by trying to uh, excuse his abuse and blame me and make me out to be the evil doer, to be in the wrong, as it were, and to try and make claims that all I'm after is his money. Actually, no, what I was after was for a bit of a head start in life to try and have a decent start. Uh, to give myself a better opportunity to have a more stable life um, as I grew further into adulthood but of course this never happened and all I was asking for was help with certain things like say an industrial rope access course or to do my scuba diving instructor or to do the commercial diving course and so on but yet of course he would um, support his daughter's in any way, shape or form, especially my ex-sister, Elaine Woodcroft, who is nothing more than a disgusting, narcissistic abuser. Other incidents have, of course, transpired, which, of course, are my fault, which is complete bullshit. I mean, for example, my ex-sister, Pauline, and my former school friend, who I no longer have anything to do with, was having sex with my sister at 12 years old. And of course, they set up a meeting to discuss this and so on. Whereas anything with me, they would just abuse me. Another example is I was illegally evicted from a property in um, Bourneville, Sturchley, um, some years ago. I had reported the landlady and the council supported everything that I'd stated. And they uh, also informed me that the property was not lawful to be rented out. My ex-father arrived to have some meeting with this piece of shit landlady who claimed that I had been disruptive and noisy and so on, but yet I had received no letters, nothing. This was purely fabricated because these disgusting people and their income was threatened by the fact that I had proven that they were unlawfully renting out a property. And yet she still tried to claim that they would win, despite the evidence to the contrary. And of course, this piece of shit Howard Woodcroft sided with her. Other things that happened, my former sister Elaine and her ex-husband Dave, a disgusting vile man who I could not stand from the start, a toffee-nosed prick, who was lucky that I walked out the one day from a meal because he would have got a slap. But of course... My ex-father said, well, after your performance last night, it's uh, surprising people still want to talk to you, whereas I did absolutely nothing wrong. I could, of course, continue to elucidate what's transpired, and I will at a later date once um, myself and my friend continue with uh, this documentary that we're producing to highlight the crime and abuse that I have been subjected to. Uh, from people like the police, the courts, Crown Prosecution Service, various individuals and services, like Devon Partnership Trust, Torbay and South Devon Foundation Trust, Torbay Council, Adult Safeguarding and so on. I am classed as a disabled and vulnerable adult and have and continue to be subjected to nothing but criminal neglect and abuse. But of course, nobody is in the wrong according to everyone else, I am, which is fucking bullshit. Anyway, like I say, I'm trying to be as quick as I can, but this is the truth of Howard Woodcroft. This is the truth of the police and those who are responsible for tackling child abuse, whether current or historical. There's more to come. And I am disclosing this before I take my own life because I want some peace and justice before I die as I no longer wish to continue living largely as a result of this cunt and his child abuse. This man is a coward. He is bereft of the capacity for integrity. He accepts no responsibility for being an abuser.
all of this I will, of course, be disclosing in this documentary and all the evidence will be provided. Thank you for listening.